In November 2012, King Von would be tweeting openly about killing. He'd say that he was the go-to guy for hits in his area. He'd also say that he was the captain of the drill team, tweeting about murder and homicide, saying that he's a hitter by himself, and that the whole of Oblock are coming for their ops. He would even tweet that he was sacrificing people, as well as bizarre tweets about how much he liked cereal, something that I personally believe was a coded message indicating that Von was beginning to see himself as a serial killer, something that he would continue to do throughout his career. From here, Von would continue tweeting about wanting to shoot his ops in the face and get up close and personal, alluding to committing murder and tweeting that he had big balls and does things that other people would only dream of doing. King Von would boldly tweet that he will never get convicted of a murder, saying that he would never set himself up to go down for a body. He would mock his ops, saying some make it out alive and some make it onto the news and die. Also during this time, Von would even react to Barack Obama winning the 2012 election, something ironic considering the fact that Michelle Obama apparently also hailed from Oblock. But even in celebrating this monumental news, Von would also tweet that a black president with ties to his city simply wouldn't stop him from killing his ops. On November the 7th, 2012, Von would tweet about bodies dropping and beating the case. Later that evening, he would tweet that he was out sliding with T. Roy, who he himself would also tweet saying that he's about to go and get his gun, before replying to K.I., who had just tweeted a list of a bunch of names of people associated with Oblock who had been killed, with T-Roy retaliating, providing his own list of people from K.I.'s hood who they had apparently killed, as well as tweeting, hashtag bang, just after midnight. Then, the following morning, the news would report on the shooting of a 17-year-old by the name of Rodney Stewart, aka Boss Trell. Boss Trell had been found with a gunshot wound to the head around 6.50am and was immediately rushed to hospital. And he would even remain alive for several hours, during which time he was visited by friends from the neighbourhood like FBG Cash. But while Boss Trell was in the hospital fighting for his life, Von and T-Roy would be tweeting. T-Roy tweeted, man down, only hours after the body was discovered, with Von tweeting, hashtag, destruggle, prompting T-Roy to infer that Von was behaving like the police. Von would follow up on this tweet, saying that people aren't dying on time, and T-Roy would also tweet mockingly, saying, no, Trell, stay alive. Then, in since-deleted tweets, allegedly by King Von, he would suggest that he had actually spent the day trying to get K.I. on the phone. However, Boss Trell would be pronounced dead that night at 11.30pm on the 8th of November 2012. And the following day, King Von would take to Twitter once again to mock Boss Trell and his ops. He would tweet that STL doesn't stand for St. Lawrence, but instead for steady taking L's. Another tweet would drop, with King Von telling people, don't worry about who killed who, just be glad that you didn't get killed and shut up. This was followed by another tweet aimed at Boss Trell, saying, lol, you ain't a boss to me. Many theories suggested that T-Roy and Von, and possibly others, were involved in this murder. Some have said that it was T-Roy, others have said that it's Von, or potentially even the two of them together. But it is worth mentioning that there's an alternative theory that Boss Trell was actually murdered by someone completely unrelated to this feud, who was apparently trying to retrieve a gun that had been taken from him. But regardless of who was responsible, Von and T-Roy were certainly happy to see Boss Trell gone, and they would continue to tweet boldly about it publicly. Their ops on Twitter would warn T-Roy over the disrespect, but for King Von, tweeting about the murders going on in the streets was a must. Von would post saying that the ops are dying frequently and that he doesn't plan on slowing down. He would say that he will kill an op anywhere and once again reference cereal. Saying that he eats cereal after shooting people, another hint in the ongoing joke that Von is indeed becoming a serial killer. Von would even mock the ops for having funerals. He simply didn't care what anybody thought. It seemed that Von was hellbent on killing his enemies, and he would be hellbent on tweeting every single time something negative occurred in the streets. However, Von's days would be numbered, and following the next hit that he was implicated in, he would tweet once again, perhaps a little too recklessly this time, finding himself behind bars for over a year. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you did, hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep up with me, I'm at Traplaw Ross on Instagram. And if you want full length documentaries completely uncut, head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Traplaw Ross. Appreciate it. Peace.